Hi there, I'm Fanboy Engineering and this is my maker portfolio. I'm studying mechanical engineering at university and I've been making projects for a while now. And I've also got this YouTube channel where I share some of my projects. But to understand how I ended up here, we need to rewind a bit. I got my first 3D printer at 15 and a year later I started experimenting with water rockets. I started with small ones, but eventually I was building some really big ones. I even made a flight computer with an ESP8266, a pressure sensor and a gyroscope. The flight computer deployed a parachute to safely recover the rockets with, and it also recovered the altitude and other relevant and interesting sensor data from the flight. I even experimented with boosters, but the launch mechanism wasn't perfect, so I never quite got it working, and then I got bored with water rockets. Next up, I decided to start playing with fixed-wing RC planes, as I had always wanted to build one myself. I built my first one using XPS foam, which I cut into the shape of a flying wing using a homemade hot wire cutter. It was rough, but it was a start. This first plane didn't fly all that well, but I wasn't about to quit. So I built another one, this time with a twin boom design and autopilot. It flew autonomously, and even though the handling wasn't perfect, it still felt like a huge win. Even though it did crash in the end. At that moment, when I saw it fly on its own, it inspired me to keep pushing, so I built a bigger plane, this one with a 1.7 meter wingspan, which I once flew for 50 minutes straight. During a long range mission, I lost signal and it crashed into a tree. Thanks to the GPS tracker on board, I was able to find and recover it. After that, the battery connector came loose during flight, and it crashed for the last time. At 17, I built another aircraft, this time with fiberglass on the surface of the foam. It flew decently, but it was a little heavy. On its first test flight, I flew it into a tree. but I fixed it with hot glue and duct tape, and it was almost as good as new. I also designed and built this giant helix antenna for long range, and it worked really well. Then I tried designing fully 3D printed RC planes. These ones didn't fly, as they were too heavy and uh, fragile, but I learned that ton about CFD and CAD modeling, which helped me with my future projects. And after that, I built a small plane that actually flew really well. Unfortunately, it crashed a few times. And during its last flight, an aileron server crashed due to cold weather, and it went into a nosedive and crashed into the frozen lake. Then, I decided to build a CNC hot wire cutter to make cutting precise airfoils easier. I designed it during boring high school lessons on my school laptop. This cutter made it super quick to make accurate parts from my arcade models. At 18, I designed a much better plane with detachable wings, an airspeed sensor and a long range radio system. I added the ground station with an antenna tracker, which gave me around 30 to 40 kilometers of control and video range, and it could fly up to 2 hours. I even built a catapult to launch it with, and to my surprise, it actually worked on the first try. 
Then I built an efficient and autonomous small FPV flying wing, which could fly for almost an hour on one battery. That was one of the most fun planes I've ever built. But eventually, it too crashed and I had to move on. After that, I built a bigger plane with a similar design and with fiberglass covering. It was huge, but I never tested it because I got too distracted with other projects and school. I also designed this gimbal for it to stabilize and allow me to move the camera. I'm planning on testing this plane in a future video. I also tried building a fully 3D printed vertical takeoff and landing plane using lightweight PLA. Unfortunately, the design was too heavy and it never flew properly, but I learned a lot from that failure. I moved on to building another small plane, which actually flew really well. Even in really cold weather, I added a parachute mechanism for emergency landings, which worked quite well, and it safely brought the plane down. It wasn't the most gentle landing, but better than a nosedive into the ground, I guess. I also designed and built this tripod, and improved my ground station setup a lot. I also built these custom FPV goggles, which I thought looked pretty funny. And here's the entire improved setup. At 19, I designed and built a large CNC milling machine to mill foam parts for my UAV aircraft projects with. Most of the parts for this machine were laser cut and 3D printed, which made the assembly pretty easy. The machine can also mill wood, but I mostly just make foam parts with it. I also attached a vacuum to it and built an enclosure around it to keep all of the particles from spreading around the room. With this new CNC machine I built another plane, which is my best one yet. It's really efficient, it flies really well and it's easy to transport. And the autopilot automatically steers it once I throw it. It has really good range and can fly for up to 3 hours with a larger battery. Then, at 20, after studying mechanical engineering for around a year, I finally started my own YouTube channel. It had been a dream of mine for a long time, after having watched channels like RC Test Flight and Femboy Fishing for many years. I realized that I finally had enough experience, time and resources to start making videos of my own and share my projects with all of you. My first video was about a 4G controlled, autonomous RC drone boat and it worked, kind of. It was the first boat I had ever built and I learned a lot. I'll probably make a better one in a future video. Next, I built an automatic fishing rod using a Raspberry Pi 0W2 and OpenCV. The system detected when the popper went underwater and automatically lifted the hook. It worked well and it was fun making it. I also made a handheld water rocket launcher that launches water rockets, which I improved by adding deployable fins and a parachute mechanism to. The whole process was a ton of fun. In the future, I've got a lot of crazy projects planned. I'm thinking about building an FPV hot air balloon and a cargo RC plane, which I'll use to drop a blowhive from the sky with, and a few other surprises. As of making this video, we're soon at 4000 subscribers. It's insane how fast this channel has grown, and I'm so grateful to all of you for the support. This is just the beginning, and I can't wait to share what's next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.